It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> this week we found out that sometimes a guy in a hoodie actually can be dangerous. <laughs> Internal documents show that Facebook knew its platform was used to spread hate and misinformation, but they hid the evidence. Now, the weird thing is, I went to school with Mark Zuckerberg, and I was there when he created Facebook. <laughs> and I feel terrible. I mean, sometimes I wish I had a time machine so I could go back to college and find Mark and say, hey, man, can I be part of your company? <laughs> Facebook's also denying a report that says using Instagram can cause users to develop a negative body image, which explains their rival's new slogan, TikTok, bring your fat ass over here. <laughs> This week, Instagram was down for an entire day, forcing many Instagram addicts to fill their time with Twitter, TikTok, or hosting SNL. <laughs> Fox News turned 25 this week, and they celebrated their birthday the same way I do, by paying white women to say some nasty stuff. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, seen here watching a child fall into the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> McConnell has agreed to a deal to temporarily raise the debt ceiling through early December. And then at that point, it'll be almost Christmas, and McConnell will be busy going around to Toys for Tots bins and gluing them shut. <laughs> Yesterday, President Biden issued a historic proclamation for Indigenous Peoples Day. Biden made the announcement just moments after his staff talked him out of wearing the headdress. <laughs> <laughs> Indigenous Peoples Day, by the way, will be observed simultaneously with Columbus Day. And uh, this just in, Columbus Day has forced Indigenous Peoples Day to move to a worse day. <laughs> this just then. <laughs> It was, it was reported that ahead of the deadline for all New York City schools employees to get vaccinated, more than 18,000 employees got at least one shot last week. And hopefully some of them got the vaccine, too. <laughs> In the wake of R. Kelly's sex trafficking conviction, YouTube has removed two channels linked with the singer, one for his singing and the other about how to remove stains. <laughs> It's been a pleasure working here, it really has. Bill Cosby said he thinks R. Kelly, quote, got railroaded following the singer's sex trafficking conviction. Cosby made the comments in the latest issue of Not Helping Magazine. 